the holiday season is well upon us, and in today's video, I wanted to give you an idea of nine different tech-related gifts for that technologist in your life. Hi, I'm Laura, and on my channel, I talk about my life working as a PM, day in life working in tech, and also just other computer science-related topics. Today's video is a little bit different, but I want to share a few products that I think are really cool and neat to give as gifts, and also in a variety of different price ranges. I have links to all of these things in the description box down below and at different price points to fit every budget. The first gift I want to highlight is going to be an external hard drive. I personally have a SanDisk one that is 5 terabytes that I bought from Costco earlier this year. I store all my previously uploaded videos, so I have anywhere around 500 gigabytes on that hard drive currently in the past year. It takes a lot to fill up a hard drive like that, so you're going to be saving yourself a lot of storage space on your existing laptop or desktop if you choose to use an external drive. On the other hand, when I'm editing, Final Cut Pro libraries can be anywhere up to 300 gigabytes just during the editing process, which is pretty absurd. I've had to edit directly off of the hard drive itself because I simply didn't have 300 gigabytes of storage space in the first place. But you're probably thinking, hey, the person I'm gifting this to is not a content creator, so what would they need a hard drive for? One potential answer is that this person plays a lot of different games and installs a lot of different games onto their desktop or console. Games take up a lot of space and they can also add up really quickly. You can opt for buying them an external hard drive to just give them extra storage space, or you can also opt towards the route of getting a solid state drive and helping them install that into their PC or gaming rig to better increase the storage on their device. The second answer to this is that if they are a huge documenter, then storage space will also be very welcome. If this person takes tons of photos or videos for recreational use, or in general just keeps tons of documents, having a backup hard drive can be invaluable. It can act as, as a secondary storage place for all of their photos and documents so it never gets lost or deleted on accident, or it can also just be a place to store more of these things. I know that storage in the cloud is the most popular thing, but it's always never bad to have a secondary backup in case things do go wrong. Now, this gift probably isn't the best for someone who just casually browses the internet, so do a little bit of research to see if the person falls into one of the aforementioned categories. The second gift I want to mention is a docking station or docking hub. I found that the issue of needing a docking station or docking hub was really the most impactful when it came to using a laptop, and especially most useful when it came to the older MacBook Pros that only had USB-C ports all the way down. I had to buy a separate USB-C to HDMI adapter, I had to buy a separate USB-C to USB-A adapter, etc, etc. And eventually, it just became a lot easier to buy a hub overall that had all these ports in it that easily just connected through one USB-C port. This can also just be handy if someone struggles with a lot of different peripherals or wires connected to their laptop as well. Secondly, or thirdly, I don't really know, if this person does a lot of traveling, then having a little docking hub can be pretty handy to plug and go at any moment. I found it pretty easy to take my whole laptop and a docking hub, as well as a few peripherals with me when traveling, so it's really not the end of the world if the person has to take their things and go. The type of product you buy will probably depend on the type of laptop this person has, so you'll have to do the extra layer of research to figure that out first. The third gift is a category of overall peripherals. Peripherals really saved my life when it comes to using a laptop for day-to-day -day work. I don't think I can really overstate the value that I get out of external monitors, keyboards, and mice when it comes to using a laptop as my daily driver. Again, these are pretty individualized depending on the person, so I don't want to be too prescriptive, but I will put a few links in the description box that I think are handy and well-known products. I don't want to recommend monitors because those are pretty pricey, and I'm sure there are tons of other videos out there as well on the best monitors currently. The three main items that you want to highlight here are going to be mice, keyboards, and headphones. For mice, having an ergonomic mouse can really make the difference. This posture can really make a difference in the long run, as well as just affect your general quality of life when it comes to dealing with your wrists. I also prefer to opt for Bluetooth mice, and I've had no problem with the one that I currently use, and it just makes traveling so much easier because I don't have to deal with wires and I can, again, just toss it in my bag and go. Secondly, when it comes to keyboards, I really just love the touch and feel of mechanical keyboards, in case that isn't obvious. This is also probably something you want to talk to with the person that you're gifting this to, but the look and feel of a keyboard can vary dramatically depending on the person's preferences. Headphones are pretty much a godsend when it comes to work and working in a public space. For example, when it comes to working in a public place like Starbucks, you probably wouldn't want to be blasting Tech 9 over the speakers of your laptop for everyone in the vicinity to hear. Or maybe you do, but you have that social awareness to recognize that you probably shouldn't. The upside for headphones, especially noise cancelling, is that it also blocks out sound around you, so you can focus directly in on what you're listening to and not the external noises that are happening around you at Starbucks. 
Most of these headphones are also wireless now with the option to plug in if needed. So it also is easy to, again, bring with you wherever you go. The fourth gift I wanna highlight is gonna be a laptop stand. Chances are most people don't really have a laptop stand and it's a uniquer gift that you can give to someone that uses a laptop as their daily driver. The typical posture you see using a laptop is gonna be pretty arms flat or even downwards at an angle and also eyes, head, and neck bending down to look at the laptop screen. The laptop stand or laptop riser though, it makes sure that you're looking forward and not downwards and also keeps your arms elevated instead of tilted downwards. I think that's a little bit better for ergonomics, but I'm not an expert. There are a couple different solutions here in the market. Some of them are plastic and foldable, which I actually prefer, and some of them are a little bit more sturdy, metal, and heavy duty. I have one that swivels, is metal, and also pretty heavy duty. But I do appreciate the flexibility and portability of having something that I can just throw in my backpack and bring with me. You can also get a little bit more creative, like buying a monitor arm and then sticking a laptop stand on top of it so that the person is able to move their laptop freely around them with their setup and adjust as needed. I've seen this in a couple other setups and I think it's pretty cool, but it is an expensive investment just to get started with. The fifth item I wanna highlight are gonna be tiles or Apple AirTags. Depending on the ecosystem that this person is in, it'll probably be the better route to get them a tile if they're in an Android ecosystem or AirTags if they're already in the Apple ecosystem. This is a gift that is good for anyone, but really best for the person who is always misplacing their items and always needing to spend the time to find them. Although a tile is a little bit larger and probably something that is better fit for something like putting on your keychain, Apple AirTags are pretty discreet and can fit on almost anything. I've seen people put them in cars, in wallets, and other miscellaneous places just to keep track of any item that they may be paranoid of ever losing. There's not really much budget variation here that you'll see in the description box though, just because it's either you buy a tile or you buy an Apple AirTag, and there's not really much else that I can change there. These are great small but very viable gifts, and I'm sure that the gifty will really appreciate this in the long run. The sixth item I wanna highlight is gonna be a cable organizer box. I know that this sounds pretty weird as a gift, I'm sure, but I personally would have loved to get given a cable organizer box, but that's also kind of the person that I am. This is best for the person that desperately needs to organize their wires and cables on the ground and could really benefit from using just a cleaner, polished look with a cable organizer box. These come in different sets and different sizes as well, and I personally bought one that comes in a set of two and that are the same size. These boxes hide the power supply itself, not the whole stream of cords leading from peripherals to your laptop or desktop. So do keep that in mind. You won't be doing extreme wire tucking here, but it is a really simple and clean way to just simply hide that power cord and never have to worry about it again. It can also kind of double in function as a footrest as well, so there's that. Overall, it doesn't actually save you any space, but I do enjoy just being able to hide the clunkiness of having a power supply below me. Seventh is gonna be a dash cam. Now this is a gift that anyone can benefit from if they are a driver. Now you can find dash cams for a lot of different price points and for cheaper ones, you can even consider getting one for the front of the car and one for the back of the car. Dash cams are really gonna be a lifesaver when it comes to ever getting in an accident. It'll directly prove your innocence and also give you a easy way out when it comes to figuring out who was at fault. Simply by having a front dash cam and a rear dash cam, it covers all your bases and makes sure that you will always be covered in case of an, of an accident. It's also kind of an unexpected gift, but one that many people will appreciate, I'm sure. The eighth gift I want to highlight is going to be a desk pad. It's partially for organization, partially to make sure that no one scratches up their desk, and also partially for aesthetics. Some desk mats are going to be more organizational than others, and some are also going to be more aesthetic than others. Organizational desk mats are going to be the ones from OrbitKey where you have a separate lining where you can actually store documents, or a magnetic holder for cables, and just a tray for catch-alls. This is the more expensive end of desk mats here, but also one that I would love to personally receive and use for daily use. On the cheaper end, you can get desk mats for anywhere between $15 to $30, and they come in a variety of sizes, patterns, and colors. In the mechanical keyboard world, there are tons of cool desk mats, so I'd also check that out, although there usually is a long wait time when it comes to ordering these things, so it may not arrive on time for a holiday season. Now, the ninth and last item to highlight are going to be shelving or organizers. This can be a little bit different and hard to shop for depending on the person and the space, but I was thinking either desk organizers, drawer organizers, or even wall shelving. My side of the office is still shockingly and dramatically bare, so having any sort of wall decor would be a huge plus for me. I am also a huge organization person, so having extra things to organize with are going to be really helpful for me. However, if the person that you're gifting this to just has a lot of clutter on the desk and could benefit from using extra organization, then having some desk or drawer organizers wouldn't be the worst idea either. Again, you can probably get these things for pretty cheap and also for very expensive as well if you're really into the aesthetic and decor side of things. 
That's all I have for my holiday tech roundup. Again, everything will be in the description box down below with different price points, price ranges, and different products as well. So do spend some time checking them out to see what best fits your budget. Thank you all so much for watching. Happy holidays, and I'll see you all again next week for a brand new video. Bye.